Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm going to give you an easy way to start your lower body in the downswing. Hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up. Click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And please, tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. So the way to hit longer, straighter shots is by hitting the golf ball with your legs and hips. So if you have followed me for a while, you should know that by now. I am not wanting you to hit the golf ball with your arms. We're building a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing here. So we're not up here just trying to hit it as hard as we can, okay? We are not trying to hit the ball. We are not trying to help the ball with our arms. So if you're not hitting the ball with your arms, what are you hitting it with? Well, you're hitting it with your legs and hips. So this is a great way to start your downswing. So from right here, we need to be thinking about moving our legs and hips. Okay, so in our transition, we're gonna fire our lower body knowing that instead of the arms being pulled down like this, us trying to hit, they'll come down because they're connected to our body. So if I'm right here, arms stretched out, let's say we're up here. If I move, see, my arm's moving right here. I'm not moving my arm, I'm moving my legs and hips, which moves my arm. So your arms aren't gonna stay up here forever if you use your lower body. All right, so we're hitting the ball with our legs and hips. So this is a great way to get the right feeling. All right, so what we're gonna do, and this is with irons and driver. All we're gonna do here, we're gonna do our setup. And then we're gonna take another ball like this. So imagine, here's my setup with a seven iron. So at about two feet, one, two, I'm gonna put a ball right here and it's opposite my ankle. So any club you set up with, put a ball off of your ankle. Okay, so let me just double check. So right here, that is my ankle. So it's about two feet away right there. I'm setting up like this. So out of the corner of this eye, I can see that ball over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna hit the top of my backswing right here. I'm gonna take my belt buckle. I'm gonna to try to point the belt buckle at that ball right there. So when I'm finished, it's right at it, okay? So it's not at the target. It's parallel to the target, okay? Because if I went at the target, I'd be here. See, that's not pointing at that ball right there. See, I need that extra bit of rotation to fully rotate my hips perpendicular to the target line. So I know the ball's there because I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Once I'm gonna hit the top like this, I just gotta change the way I think. I'm gonna take the belt buckle and I'm gonna immediately point it at that ball. Like, you know, <laughs> when, you, when you start off, maybe do it slow. But, you know, I'm kind of doing that fast because the harder I drive my lower body, the faster my arms come down, this is a hinge, that creates a faster release, and of course, we hit long, straight shots. All right, so in no way am I thinking about hitting, and that's a big part of it, you know? If you're trying to take your arms out of your golf swing and stop trying to hit the ball, develop this easy or effortless type of golf swing, you gotta replace the thought of hitting with another thought. So if you're not even thinking of anything down here, well, you'll always hit with your arms because you gotta hit it with something. So all I'm saying is, why don't we have a different thought? Let's have a thought of using our lower body so then we can get good at using the lower body and then we can turn our arms off and get the effortless swing. All right, so I go to set up like this. I've got the ball sitting right there, okay? I know the ball's there because I can see it out of the corner of my forward eye here. So now I go into my backswing and then I'm gonna be thinking belt buckle. So I get to the top, 
I turn my belt buckle, and then I could easily check that that is pointing right at the ball. My belt buckle is right at that ball, right there. Okay, so that would give you full rotation in your swing. You'd start to get using your legs and hips to hit the ball. Like I say, then you've got something to at least be thinking about. Okay, so that's an iron. Same thing for driver, okay? So if I go to driver like this, obviously driver's longer. So I'm gonna have to move that ball. So I just do a little setup like this and I go, okay, now the ball's there. I'm gonna put the ball there. See, that's in line with my ankle. Again, about two feet. It's not an exact measurement, just so you can see it out of the corner of your eye. Right here. Now we're gonna hit a driver, okay? All right, so right here, you can see that my belt buckle is pointing right at that golf ball. So that means my hips have moved perpendicular to the target line. And that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to go through like this and point our belt buckle over here, go through like this spinning out and have our belt buckle point over here. We're trying to move our lower body fully so we are perpendicular to the line. So that's why you want to check if your belt buckle is pointing at the ball or not. Just remember, it's off of your ankle right here, okay? Every club. And that's the whole point. If you want to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing, you can't be up here just trying to hit the ball with your arms. That's too easy. Isn't everybody already doing that? <laughs> you know? So there's a different way to do it. You got to do it with your body. Well, to do it with your body, you got to have a thought, something. You got to be thinking down here to power your swing with your lower body. Well, this is a great way to do it because the ball's right there. You're going to check it when you're done. So by the time you hit the top like this, you're thinking about something down here that's going to make you hit the ball. You're not even thinking of hitting anything with your arms. If you move your body, your arms come down and hit the ball. You're not trying to hit or help the shot. You're trying to hit, hit the ball by turning your body. So that's why this one is a great thing you can be doing. So if you're out at the range here, just grab one ball, put it there. You know, maybe if you're on the course, that's a little bit different. Maybe on the course, you're just thinking about your belt buckle and turning it, you know, for righties, a little left of your target lefties you'd be a little right of your target all right so just use that as a thought i'm telling you you start thinking of using your body just letting your arms go nice and relaxed with your arms you will hit the ball better than you ever have i truly hope you've enjoyed this tip you know i've been teaching a powerful effortless pain-free golf swing now since 1991 if you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.